guys, Mark Denson here. Today we're gonna tie the olive brown skirt. Hang on. Gamaras, they are everywhere in salt and fresh water, and they are active year round. Traditionally, Gamaras or Scott imitations are tied on hooks with some kind of curve, often a very pronounced C shape. That makes sense when you see these crustaceans resting, they are curved, as you can see on this footage. But when swimming, they have a nearly straight back. Still slightly curved, but nowhere near the shape of a resting scud. So basically, most hook designs will do. And I've used the curved design on many Gamora's imitations with great result. In this video, I tie on a hook with only a slight curve that better imitates the profile of a fast swimming Gamora's. Now onto the tying. First, I cover the shank with a tying thread. Then I pluck a bunch of fibers from a soft angle. Tie it in for the tail. Next up is the rip piece of copper wire. And a strip of raffine for the back. And I prepare and tie in the body material as well. If you want a heavier fly, you can put some copper wire or some lead wire around the hook shank before you wrap the materials for the body. Make sure to pull tight on that raffine. I moistened it a little bit before tying it down so I can stretch the material. After that, Follow through with the rip. This is a super fast tie. 
but a very effective fly. And a little throat haggle, same material as used for the tail. A whip finish. A bit of lacquer. And some final trimming. And we're good to go. Okay, a basic scott pattern. Thanks for watching.